Hi there everyone. Um so I do a video here about some stuff that we treated to ourselves uh yesterday at our local art shop. <coughs> now the uh one of my subscribed um content providers on uh, YouTube is Fran Blanche and she did a video the other day about her favourite pens and pencils and we, me and the wife both watched it with great um, interest because uh, we do like a nice pen and I've, I have wanted a nice pen for a long time the wife has got a nice Schaefer ballpark um, fountain pen and she wanted a pen that she could have in a bag and uh, if it got lost or whatever it wouldn't be too big a problem well Fran Blanche uh, actually recommended the Pilot Varsity now the Pilot Varsity is a uh, disposable fountain pen and it looks a bit like this yeah. this is the uh, Pilot Varsity Does it, will it uh, automatically focus anyway there it is lovely and these um, Cost under five, I think the four ninety nine, and uh, when it runs out of ink, you simply throw it away. Get another one. They're available in all sorts of uh, all sorts of colours. And it's got a really nice, smooth action. I really like these. So that's going to be the wife's everyday in the bag pen much better than a cheap ballpoint freebie that you've picked up from somewhere definitely a lot better this notebook by the way is a Rhodia uh, the, the kind of notebooks that I use and the wife uses they are simpler than the Moleskine type uh, notebooks and the paper is the smoothest paper I think that's produced in the world today it's incredibly smooth fantastic writing paper um, cheaper than Moleskine not as fancy just uh, stapled together but it's a fantastic bit of paper uh, and I really like them Oh bloody hell, what have I done here? Didn't mean to do that, hang on. Sorry about this mm. Number two pen is my pen. This is a Lamy Safari. Uh, they come in plastic and this is a nice red coloured one. I thought the red was quite cheerful. there the ink that's in this is a French ink that actually is here it's this it's uh, this ink and uh, it's quite translucent it's not as dark but there you can get a dark I think the wife just said if I, if I used it a bit more slowly I'm not really used to fountain pens. Yeah, if you if you lean on a bit more and use it more slowly. Like that. You get a darker line. Um so this is gonna I was I was so sick of using cheap 
ballpoint pens that were to fish out of the uh, container on the side of the refrigerator with the horrible broken up lines and they wouldn't work on most pe most kind of papers they wouldn't even write lumpy horrible broken up lines and these the Lamy Safari are probably the most popular fountain pens in the world they're made in Germany and they're not cheap but they're not wildly expensive um, we bought all this stuff that I'm showing you from our local art store and it costs more than buying it online but when you think about it you're actually getting to use the stuff before you uh, order it the shop's got overheads and you buy online and it almost certainly comes from the US and um, you've got to convert everything to Canadian dollars pay whatever ridiculous freight charges that they want to charge and then quite possibly get hit by Canadian customs so for the few dollars you pay extra at your local store you're supporting a local business yeah I've done that one and we love our shopkeeper and we, you get to talk for an hour to a shopkeeper that we've known for years and years and years and genuinely wants to stop and chat not just getting it through the post from some unknown warehouse in California so really it doesn't cost a lot more to go and support your local business because we want the place to be there again in the next 10 years to be honest so that's that's why we we did uh what we did and that's why we get the stuff from where we get it from right so you see the ink oh i got with the the pen i was also given a um refill type device that lets you fill that pen up from any ink that you can get but we also got some um, refills as well just in case a box of five refills is only cheap and they're always there as a second line of defense so that is pens next we move on to pencils now pens and pencils, sorry, and you... Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I think you want to see this. Look out the window. <laughs> uh, anyway. There was a guy outside, you can just probably see him there, with a, with a big camera, walking along with a big camera. We're just not sure what he's doing. That was the, uh, what the wife just told me to have a look at. I don't think he's, he's like, oh yeah, he's like videoing down the street. Oh, anyway, where were we? Oh, pencils. I knew nothing about pencils. The pe only pencils I have ever used here were the ones that we got from the dollar store in packs of 20 for, for like $2.50. And when uh, Fran Blanche was talking about pencils on, the, uh, on her video, you immediately realised just what crap they are. If you try, if you um, sharpen them, see this one's not been sharpened, they get an uneven sharpen, they break, they're gritty. And anyway, to cut a long short story short, this is the best pencil in the world, the Palomino Blackwing. It's got a cult following. And the wife actually has got some of these somewhere in a in a um, crafting pile but we're not sure where so we got a few more while we were out at the store and these were only two dollars what was it 50 249 $2 each because i haven't been doing any drawing since you got sick no since i got sick the wife's not been doing any drawing um any of my stuff. <laughs> so she's kind of her stuff is kind of lost but for two dollars fifty each these different palomino black wing pen pencils are well they're beautifully made the actual the actual way that they're made is superb the, the even the, the the paint on them the lacquer is done to such a fantastic uh effect it's just so, so good looking pens 
and the unique feature of them is the eraser actually comes out you can pull the eraser out and put it in and you can buy really cheap up um, spare erasers and put them in well at first I didn't want a pencil I said no I don't really want a pencil but when did she got them home and I started looking at them I said can I have one of them of course she said yes and I went for the Palomino Blackwing Pearl and as soon as you put the pencil on this paper especially this kind of um, smooth uh, roadier paper you're instantly hooked I mean I've never used a, a pencil a smooth which gives you such a fantastic line with the minimum of effort it really is a revelation so there's our pencils. So I think that's what we got. We got the ink, the uh, Pilot Varsity, the Lamy, three of these Palomino Blackwing pencils, the uh, ink, and uh, the Rodia dot pad and you can see what I mean when they say they're simply made made by Rodia in France and the paper on in these um, is just incredible it's the best paper you can get it's so smooth and so easy to write with it makes everything you write with look better and that was the uh, extra refill that I got with the pen so I got uh, I got the uh, refillable cartridge that you can refill from uh, a bottle of ink and they got a refill in the pen and these are the um, black wing type re uh, erasers the spare ones and they that just unfastens from there and you can put a spare one in a new one if one gets uh, gets worn down so that was our haul at our local art shop last night along with a good hours chat and uh, a look around the downtown um, so what I would say is these are our choices of the best uh, for their price writing instruments and we got to support a local business as well so we we're very happy when we got home so that's it a little bit of a different video this time it's really warm in this room because it's warm outside so I'm going to bring this video to a halt and get a drink because I'm a bit thirsty so I'll see you next time. Bye.